In this video, we will be talking about factorizing quadratics. Just as a reminder, quadratics are algebraic expressions or equations containing x squared. So an example would be x squared plus 5x plus 4. This is an example of a quadratic expression. Our goal in factorizing quadratics is writing this expression in two different brackets. And these two brackets will contain x plus or minus a number and x plus or minus a number. And we have to find these numbers to make both sides equal. Since we don't know what these numbers are, let's call them a and b. And we can expand this expression to get x squared plus bx plus ax plus ab which can be simplified to x squared plus a plus b x plus a b. This means that a plus b has to equal to 5 and a b has to equal to 4. So we're finding two different numbers that multiply to get the number 4 and add to get the number 5. We can quickly see that a and b must be 4 and 1 since 4 times 1 equals 4 and 4 plus 1 equals 5. So therefore, x squared plus 5x plus 4 can be factorized to x plus 1 and x plus 4. In our first example, we have the quadratic x squared plus 6x plus 5. So we have to find two numbers that add up together to give us 6 and two numbers that multiply to give us 5. And we can easily see that 5 times 1 gives us 5, and 5 plus 1 gives us 6. So therefore, we can factorize this quadratic, quadratic to give us x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 5. And we can check if this is true or not by expanding this expression here. So we'll expand using the FOIL method. So the first terms will be x times by x, which gives us x squared the outer terms will be x times by 5, which is plus 5x. The inner terms will be 1 times x, which is simply x. And the last term is 1 times 5, which is 5. And we can gather the x terms to give us x squared plus 6x plus 5, which is equals to our original expression. In our second example, we have the quadratic x squared plus x minus 6. So the same thing with the previous question. We have to find two numbers that add up to give us the number 1. Because remember, x squared plus x is the same thing as x squared plus 1 times x. And two numbers that multiply together to give us negative 6. So two numbers that multiply to give us negative 6 will be negative 1 and 6. Or negative 6 and 1. Or we have negative 2 and 3 or negative 3 and 2 so we just have to check for the combination that add up together to give us 1 so minus 1 plus 6 gives us 5 so that's incorrect and negative 6 plus 1 gives us negative 5 so that's also incorrect but if we look at negative 2 plus 3 we get 1 so therefore our quadratic here x squared plus x minus 6 will be factorized to give us x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 3. And similarly, we can check this by expanding to give us x times x, which is x squared, x times by 3, which is plus 3x, negative 2 times by x, which is negative 2, and negative 2 times by 3, which is negative 6. And this simplifies to x squared plus 3x minus 2x, which is simply just 1x minus 6. In our third example, we have x squared minus 3x plus 2. So we have to find two numbers that add up together to give us negative 3, and two numbers that have to multiply to give us 2. So we know that the number 1 and the number 2 multiplies together to give us 2. However, they add up together to give us 3, and we need negative 3. However, remember that negative 1 multiplied by negative 2 also gives us 2, and these two add up to negative 3. So therefore, we, to factorize x squared minus 3x plus 2, we get 
x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 2. And we can check again by expanding these two brackets. So we have x times by x, which is x squared, x times by negative 2, which is negative 2x, and negative 1 times by x, which is negative x. And we have negative 1 times by negative 2, which is plus 2. And this can be simplified to x squared minus 3x plus 2, which is equals to our original expression.